Hi Simon, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on our lesson yesterday. So this is you, uh, I asked you to play two chips, one to a flag on the left, one on the flag on the right. The left one had about eight foot of green to use, the other one had about 30 foot of green to use. Uh, and if we can see here really, uh, the idea of that was to try and get you to see, are you going to start to hit low shots with some run and, or high shots with some spin? Uh, and it looks at your setup here, Simon, that you're, you're sort of in between methods. So we can see quite clearly that the ball is a bit too far back in the stance for me. OK, and the hands are slightly ahead. But actually, if I move the camera around a little bit more to the left, it actually looked like your hands were literally in line with the ball. OK, and for me, to, there's definitely not enough pressure going into that left foot. As I definitely I would like to see everything lean a little bit more to the left, especially the top half of the body. It's very important that we get the top half in front of the ball. So this just run through your action here. So we can see you have quite a long swing. It was quite quick as well, uh, which I need to slow down at some point. But you can see as you're coming in here, we're leading with the hands, which is very good, especially if we want to hit it low. But you're going to see now that you're allowing the club head to pass and actually beat your hands. So we can see there, and definitely the he club head now is definitely passing your hands. And that's OK if we want to hit like a high soft spinner, but not when we're trying to drill it in low with some check. So we really want to keep the left arm and club dead straight through impact, OK? So to do that, all we did was move the ball middle of the stance, like I said a little bit earlier there. OK, a little, little bit more weight on the left side. Uh, and then from there, whatever angle you set up, sort of Steve Stricker, Jason Day, like this nice triangle that we're trying to form there. I just want you to control that with your chest. So literally it's a turn back and a turn through, no hands at all, all with the big muscles. And that way you can sort of drill it in low with sort of bounce, bounce, spin. OK, so that's the first method. The second method we worked on was trying to hit the ball a little bit higher and softer. Uh, and if we look here on the right, this is Brett Rumford. So he has, you can see here, he's got the ball opposite his left heel like a driver. You can see also his face of his club is wide open. OK, but as he's opened the club face, his hands are still ahead of the ball. Massively important now. I never want to get the hands back at the moment, especially what we're doing, like level one chipping. Hands ahead, blade open, ball forwards. And then from there, he's going to grip it so soft really really soft the hands will naturally hinge gripping it soft but i do not want you to think about that simon really really soft and what he's going to do is he's just going to allow you can see they allow that club head to slide under the ball and you can see at this point here the club head is past the hands by a long long way okay so you can see there the wrists are breaking where he's releasing the club so the idea of this shot is to let the bounce of the club slide underneath the ball uh, no divot. This is the one you sort of clip off tight lies. Great out of fluffy lies because you can commit to it. So ball forwards. Keep the weight on the left. Feet are slightly open, especially on this shot here because the face is so open. And allow that club head to slide under. Now you got that pretty quick because your first, this swing over here is sort of in between both methods. So we've just got to start to walk up to the chip shot, Simon, and see either a low one, which is going to be hold the angle, set up, ball middle, weight on the left, Hold the angle in the wrist, turn and turn. And this one on the right, your high one, is going to go ball forwards, blade open, and let the club slide underneath. We're going to actually let it slide. Really, really good. With your putting, I thought you putted quite well, Simon. I'd like to see you a little bit wider with the stance. Okay, Keep your original grip to your Tiger Woods grip, as you call it, um, from there. And then you need to start freeing it up. I want you to hit some six-footers with your setup, get get the ball lined up, and then close your eyes. Just start freeing it up. When you freed it up last night, your right hand naturally was letting the putter head release, which is what that putter's for. But when you actually had your eyes open, to me, you sort of steer the ball down the line a little bit. You know, if you was good when you was younger putting, we need to get that back out of you. And it's almost like you've missed a few, and now you're trying to sort of force the ball into the hole. So work on that for me. Routine is key on putting. Uh, your stroke looked pretty solid, um, but I just need you to free it up a little bit. Softer hands, let the putter head wave a little bit. Uh, I know that people think that's wrong, but I, need, I actually want the putter head to release. And uh, all will be good. Thanks, Simon.